Hello friends, this video on number systems part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's now try to represent root x in the number line. So we have seen root 2, root 3, root 5. Let's try to represent root x in the number line. See to do this, first we do is we draw x and let's name it ab. This is to draw root x and then what we do is we add one more centimeter or one unit if it is root x meter I'll add one meter if it is root x centimeter I'll add one centimeter this is one unit and let's call this point c in this whole and taking this whole ac as diameter I'll draw a semicircle. Okay. Now, if I draw a perpendicular from here, it will touch this point, and this will become root x. Let this call point B D. So B D will be root x. Same thing here. If I have drawn A B x with x unit, then one unit extra. And with the whole AC as diameter, I am drawing a semicircle and then from point B, I am extending it, this is perpendicular, 90 degree. So it will touch the semicircle at point D and BD will be root X. I can prove that. If this is X, this is 1. So the whole diameter is what? AC is what? X plus 1. Right, so radius is what x plus 1 by 2, and radius is my AO here and OC. Right, AO and OC are my radius. So, what I have to do first is I have to find the values in this triangle. So, in this triangle, if I can find OD, so if you see this triangle actually, which I have created this straight right this is b this is d and this is a right this i am telling is root x let me see what is the dimension of ab and or it is zero o. od and ob od is what od is the radius of the circle and radius is x plus 1 by 2 so this point is x plus 1 by 2 pretty easy Okay, so OD, OC, OA, all three are x plus 1 by 2. Let's find OB. OB, I can easily find OC, I know is what? x plus 1 by 2. Okay, and BC is 1. So this is x plus 1 by 2, and this is 1. So I can easily find OB, the whole x plus 1 by 2 minus 1. So OB is nothing but OC minus BC and that is nothing but X plus 1 by 2 minus 1 and that is nothing but X minus 1 by 2. So this is X minus 1 by 2. Okay. Now if this is X plus 1 by 2, this is X minus 1 by 2. Let's see what the value of this. So by Pythagoras theorem BD square is nothing but OD square minus OB square, right? This is hypotenuse perpendicular in base. So OD square is what? OD is x plus 1 by 2, x plus 1 by 2 whole square minus OB square that is x minus 1 by 2 whole square, correct? So if you solve this, x plus 1 by 2 whole square minus x minus 1 by 2 whole square what you get is you get 4 here you get x square plus 1 plus 2x minus x square plus 1 minus 2x this is its cancelled you get 4x by 4 and that is nothing but x so bd square is x so bd is what root x and thus I get root x here. Okay.
Pretty easy. See, even if you want, you can hide this now, as of now. Let's assume you don't know the length of this. This is x minus 1 by 2. This length is x plus 1 by 2. Using Pythagoras theorem, you can find this value as root x. Thus, if you want to draw a root x length, you can actually draw a line of x unit, then one unit extra. With that whole length x plus 1, you can actually draw a semicircle with x plus 1 as diameter. And then at this point, you draw a straight line perpendicular to line AC. This, will, this line will meet the semicircle at point D. So BD is my root x. Okay. So the question is to represent three, root 3.5 geometrically. So what we'll do is we'll draw a line of 3.5 unit. And then we'll draw one more line of one unit. With whole 4.5 unit as cent, uh, diameter, we'll draw a semi. Second, we'll first draw a center also. It's not that is required actually because if you want to draw a semicircle, you have to draw a center. Center will be anything but 4.5 by 2. And that is 2.25. And at taking this as center and this whole thing as radius, I'll draw a semicircle. And now at this point, which I have, this point, from this point, I'll draw this line. This line will be 90 degree and this line will touch the semicircle at this point. So this point is my root 3 point. You can put the values AB. So AB is my root 3.5. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also Get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.